Uh, outlines for Photoshop finishing this technique is probably not worth a full chapter in this tutorial from all these methods described. It relies on your painting and illustration skills in the Photoshop. However, I think it deserves a mention we can use ZBrush as our main tool for creation, then we can use Photoshop to render the illustration. Um, so this I didn't actually go through, but feel free, again, let me go ahead and link you guys. It should be there at the bottom of my screen here, the ZBrush, oh, if you can see it, ZBrush, let's go ahead and change that background color. Color document back, we'll go ahead and just do a dark gray. There you go. Here's the Twitch TV. Close that up. Twitch TV, PavMic, ZBrushGuys.com for us tutorials. You can go there and just go ahead and download this and you can read through the Photoshop section of this, which is sending the render letter multiply. I'm not going to paint, but basically fill the layer with your base color, apply some initial shading here, which you know you could do in the ZBrush material here. Let's go ahead and, you know what, for this matte cap, let's go ahead and do matte cap metal. And then we're going to go ahead and just go load up under material here. We have the comic style rendering folder, and I'm just going to grab the Pop Lander Super Comic Book here. So now, if we close this out, everything's set up the way he had it. So if we go to S3 here, now we're here exactly what he had in the PDF. So you can just start from here if you want to. Um, like I said before, if you wanted to do the shading with the S3, you could just drop that opacity down, and you're already kind of getting kind of a shade built in there. But you can apply some initial shading in Photoshop here. Add some color variations, which again you could do with just the poly paint if you want a little head start on that. Um, variations to help our design, uh, light and other details, color variation, contrast with mask and helmet, exaggerating the shadow areas, and enhancing the lighting with soft gradients here. Backlight or rim light added, scratches, cross hassing into little details, energy string, enhancing or tweaking the lighting from the energy string, and final touches. We'll talk a bit more about setting up the document a bit later on how to use BPR render passes and how to use them. So we'll get there in a minute. Uh, multiple materials in one object. Let's talk a bit more about materials and how we can apply them to our models or just part of them. So we've created matte caps on a complex material to give us very cool results. The next chapter will take us through shading complexity to the next level. Although the technique we'll be using is super simple, if you combine it with the previous methods, you'll get very interesting results like this. So basically we'll be doing some poly paint, but instead of using color information only, we're going to be using paint with matte caps. Since the matte caps we're going to use already have some color information in them, you'll end up with a very complex looking image. To begin, turn on Colorize on the Poly Paint sub palette, which is, you know, you can turn this little brush on or off, but you can also go here to the Poly Paint menu, and that's just basically toggling Colorize on and off. And choose the standard brush here, so BS, whatever that is, you can just go hit B and then go and grab your standard brush here. Now make sure that the switch at the top UI for RGB and Z add are off and turn the M on. So we're just going to be painting with our material here. So we can just go here to M. And you know what, if we want to just re uh, replace all this, we can just go to color, fill object, and fill it full of white. Let's unmask color. Oh, we have M turned on to RGB, color, fill object, M. Okay. With these settings, the standard brush will paint only using the material information and nothing else. If you want to be very precise, I recommend you mask areas before painting, and when you're happy with the unmasked area, uh, paint with the desired material. So to mask an area, simply hold control and draw of your model. You can control and click on the canvas to invert the mask, control dragging the canvas to clear the mask. You can also hold control and click over the mask to blur it, and hold control alt click to sharpen the edges. So all stuff we've already gone over here. He's using matcap chalk. Let's go ahead and just go to our basic material here. And we'll go ahead and turn off colorize while we're doing this. So if, again, if we want to go ahead and say, mask out this back arrow here, just hold down control and then just mask this out like so. And then control alt tap to kind of sharpen that mask up and then go back in here with control alt and just paint up, paint and kind of clean up this stuff. So exactly like we were doing with the RGB poly painting we were doing, but this time we're just going to uh, apply material to this section here. So mask, holding down control, and then control alt. And then again to sharpen, it's just control alt tap on your model, or you can go to the masking menu and choose sharpen. And then we'll just go ahead and mask right down the middle of here. And now we have a mask of which we can apply a material. Now you can do a color fill uh, with your material, or you can just paint it on. So if you control tap, that'll invert. And now you can see where I kind of didn't quite hit all these areas here. There we go. So I spent a couple minutes masking out the conductive areas of the suit of the Kepler, and I want to give them a green bright color. All we need to do is load in the desired matte cap or image of the current matte cap and paint the unmasked areas. Feel free to use any of the matte caps I shared in the resource folder and the comic materials here. So let's go ahead and grab that one here if I can. So let's go ahead and choose another matte cap I'm not going to use. So we'll do reflect two and then we'll go in here to the comma key and we'll choose this uh, green one right here. Uh, at this point before I get rid of the mask I want to apply a different matte cap 
to the softer areas of the suit. Bright green color in these areas here. So in this point here, I can probably just with M select go to color, fill object, and then I'll go ahead and fill these bright green or the unmasked areas with that. And then we control tap to invert that. That's going to grab this section here, invert that mask, a different mat cap to the softer areas of the suit. All I need to do is invert the mask and load and select a new mat cap in the filled areas. So let's go ahead and use mat cap red clay. And then we'll go ahead and grab maybe this red one right here. And now when we go to color, fill object, or you can paint that in. If you got M selected with your standard brush, you can just go in here and paint that in, or you can just go to color, fill object, and they'll go ahead and fill this. Now again, if I subdivide, did I go back down here? Subdivide this thing, get your get a sharper, cleaner mask, it'll go ahead and not bleed through like I had it. So spend time, make nice masks, or another thing you could do, and we'll do, we can do this too when I grab my um, boss. Let's go ahead and bring her in, go in the clear my canvas here. We're gonna go to load tool, we'll go to streaming, have Mike female, ZBrush female, high res. So we've got the bust here. Now, if you want to see the making of this particular girl, you can go to the ZBrush. Well, I do it on my channel as well. So kind of both of these things. So we go here to F and then I go ahead and frame her. So we can do the same thing with her. Got this kind of thing going here. Let's go ahead and select uh, the Pop Blender comic. So anything green that we want, we can just alt tap. Now they're all separate sub tools here. So now I can go to color, fill object and we can just fill all these different sections of her with that. So instead of masking and painting, we can just go ahead and just do a fill. And then if we want to do another section here, we'll go ahead and grab this red one here. Now all these sections here, we can go to, oh, you know what? M RGB color fill. Oh, we have, uh, sorry, I have RGB selected. So M selected. I forgot I turned that off. So green one, color, fill object, green one, color, fill object and then as we select this one and then switch back over to red here now we can go to color fill object alt tap color fill object so now you can start seeing instead of you know going in here and masking and painting like i said uh, and if you want to select a material you can drag from here and select so if we want to select the red one we do the red we drag over the green we select the green then we can alt tap this one color fill object going to solo here why is it doing red We've got M selected with our standard brush, and we've got that subtool, unmasked, color, fill object. Let's do M R G B. I wonder if it had, you know, it might have had a different color on there. There we go. Um, if it does have a different color on there and you want to override it, just make sure you have M R G B selected. That'll replace the R G B as well as the uh, material here. So one more. Go back to red here, select that one. Color, fill object, M R G B. If you want to overwrite your poly paint, not just the material. And you can do that. So. There we go. We got a cool looking uh, comic book render going. So, and you know, he says you can go crazy with different matcaps, try and create a balance of the colors you choose. They enhance the desolate, uh, color instead of breaking it. So if we want to continue doing this, we'll do reflect three, just cause we're going to replace this. And we can see if there's a skin in here, we'll go ahead and choose that skin. And now we can alt tap the face here. And now we can go to color, fill object. And now we've got kind of a skin uh, shader going on in here.